Chappie, first of all, many congratulations on your appointment as head coach. You must be really excited by this opportunity. Yeah, obviously, um, I've been at the club a long time. Uh, I've been fortunate to play for a long time for one of the biggest clubs in the country. Um, and I've been coaching now for some time, obviously enjoying my role that I've been in for the last two years and prior to that. Um, but yeah, it's a fantastic job. It's, uh, it's the perfect job for me at the moment and um, hopefully it will be, I'll be in the position for a long time. Um, but first and foremost, we've got to start off and get stuck into to some of the issues that we've got to deal with right now and look forward to uh, a season. Uh, where we'll be you know, hoping to be successful, but um, we've got tremendous players at the club, a, a really young staff. It's changed a lot over the last few years, um, so we've got, we've got work to do, but some really exciting players to work with. What are your priorities over the next couple of weeks and months? Well, we, we've got to look at our strengths. Um, we've got gaps in the, in the staff caused by um, normal retirement through age, people like myself over the recent years, um, but also we've had... Uh, a couple of injuries with in recent past with uh, Kaby Rally and Kyle Hogg. Um, we've lost Ashwell Prince and Alvira Peterson, so we've got we've got uh, some positions to fill. Um, we've got to look at the players who who've had coming through. We had young players come into the team last season and be successful. Uh, we've we had a promotion two seasons ago and uh, hopefully consolidated last year, although it was a, a bit twitchy towards the end. But we had a great start to the campaign last year. Um, priorities are all competitions and obviously um, working towards success. Uh, it's, not, it's not that easy, there's work to be done. Um, but we've got some talent in the, in the squad and we'll be looking to um, bring that out as best we can. Having played for the club for over 20 years and then coming through as first team coach, you must be incredibly proud to be named head coach of this club. Yeah, absolutely. I, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm delighted that the that the club have have shown their belief in um, myself and Mark Chilton. We've worked hard to get where we are. We've put a lot of a lot of work into, you know, qualifying as as level four coaches, and um, we've seen it as a as a career that we really want to get stuck into. So um, to be given this opportunity is fantastic, and hopefully we can we can grasp it and, and make great progress. How much are you looking forward to working alongside Chile? Yeah, we're a good fit because we've known each other for a long time. We share a lot of principles. Uh, we think similarly, but we are different people. We'll complement each other well, there's no doubt about that. Um, we'll work to each other's strengths and I think we'll, we'll be a good team. What qualities will he bring to the squad? <laughs> he might not like me for saying this, but he's, he's got good discipline and he's, he's really good with, with detail. He's, he's, got, um, he's got talents that I, that I might struggle with. Um, he's obviously he's a top top draw batting coach. Um, obviously my, my perceived strength would be bowling coach, so we fit in those terms. Um, and how we manage the squad together, I think we'll, um, I think we'll work really well together. You, meant, you touched on last year, this, this squad's got a lot of young, talented players, but it's exciting, isn't it? Yeah, I, I mean, to work with professional players is, is fantastic. To work with young professional players who have got ability and uh, so much ambition is, is even better. Um, they'll need some older heads around them as well, which we have. Um, but I think the potential for this squad is, is fantastic. And if we need to add to that to make it, make it stronger in the interim, then we will. Um, but hopefully um, the homegrown players as well will get their chance. Uh, but they'll have to work for it like, at, like at any other big club. Uh, so if, you, you know, if, they, if they play well enough and they develop well enough, then, then there'll be some exciting times for them. It was obviously touch and go last season at the end. But how much will those younger players have learned from that? Well, hopefully that's the, that's the big positive to last season. <clears throat> we were able to, to give young players an opportunity where in, in another circumstance they might not have got that chance. So um, hopefully the experience will stand them in good stead. Uh, we've had a lot of players go away to Australia to, to continue their work over the winter. Um, and players develop quickly at that age, so you know we'll be looking forward to seeing them when they come back and and seeing where they're at. But I think yeah, definitely the last three months they were such a challenging time, um, and I think it gives it gives them a real good chance to learn and improve through that period. So we might see we might see the rewards of that this season. And how much are you looking forward to the start of the season now? Just a, just a few months away now. Yeah, whenever Christmas 
Whenever you get past Christmas, you start to think about the season. It comes around so quick. We've got to make sure that we're doing all the right things right now, get the best out of our facilities here. Uh, we're obviously going away to, to Dubai for pre-season training in the middle of March, where we've got good facilities there as well. But yeah, I mean, the people will start to look forward to it more and more, especially as we get into February. We'll be desperate for the season to come, but we've got to make sure we're doing the right things all the way to the season.